Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few DIY Halloween bandana ideas. With Halloween right around the corner, I wanted to share a couple of simple and fun ideas for your pups. If you haven't seen our DIY bandana video yet, please check that out. It will have a more in-depth tutorial on how to create and sew a custom bandana for your pup. First up are the ghost themed ideas. I sewed a bandana out of white cotton fabric. I tried using a fabric marker first, but realized it bled a bit and I wanted a clean graphic look. So instead, I used the fabric marker to write the base of my word only, which was boo in block letters. Because this bled, I decided to paint with acrylic paint instead, mixing this with a bit of fabric painting medium, which you should be able to find at any craft store. I filled in the block letters first, then drew in some uneven and dripping portions of the text for that spooky look. Let this dry overnight and you're finished. I wanted to pair this look with a little ghost costume. There was no real measurements or anything for this. I just draped a piece of white fabric over little Luca and eyeballed a place for his snout. Then I dropped it over him again to get a general idea of where his eyes would be, then cut out circles accordingly. This was super fun and would work for a photo or short clip, but trust me, he didn't keep this on for long. Next up, similar to the word boo, I thought a jack-o'-lantern bandana would be cute and fun. I sewed an orange bandana as my base, then sketched out my face design on a piece of paper and traced this onto the front with a fabric marker. I kept the face simple, knowing that my marker bled. I wanted to keep the cheeks open, but my paint bled a bit when my brush got a little wet, so I ended up filling them in. I think the painting method honestly works best for simpler designs. What I love about painting or drawing on bandanas is that they're super kid-friendly too. You can use fabric markers or puffy paint and have a lot of fun customizing these. Lastly, I wanted to make a candy corn bandana. I started by basically dividing my base bandana pattern into three even pieces, then adding a half inch seam allowance all the way around. I'm not gonna go too heavily into detail on how I made this pattern since I made an error doing this, which definitely became more evident with the way I wanted to finish my seams as well. I wanted to keep the inside of my bandana clean, so I sewed each piece together with a French seam. This is where, instead of sewing right sides together, you sew wrong sides together, trim the allowance, fold and press the seams back the other way, sew right sides together again, and sew together, leaving no raw edges. As you can see, each tier got smaller and smaller. Luckily, I tend to create my bandanas a little bigger and on the looser end, so I was able to trim this excess and the bandana worked fine. If I were to do this again, I would actually just sew three rectangular strips together with French seams that were a bit larger than my pattern piece. Then cut out the triangle shape and proceed with sewing the bandana together as usual. What I love about these bandanas though is that they're just super forgiving. They're also really easy to make and customize for your pups and I honestly had so much fun making these. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna do anything festive for your pups this Halloween season. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to Canine Mind below, and thanks so much for watching.